After about 3 weeks of trial and error, let's see how does this foundation performs. Hello dears, welcome to Beauty with a Heart. I'm Lily, also known as Lily. Today, I'll be giving you the follow-up of this, the Ordinary Serum Foundation Review. I've been testing this out for actually near to 3 weeks already because yeah, the first video was shot when about a month ago. Then yeah, dears, if you find that my voice is bad, that's because it's really bad. I have a bad throat. That's why I've stopped filming this review for about 3 weeks time. So I have plenty of time to trial and error this foundation. Voice sounds sexy, isn't it? <laughs> so, let's get started! For this foundation, I like to start off with This is the Revolution Beauty Primer It's very silicone-y And it helps to mattify the look And make the foundation last longer A little amount will do So just spread Next, I'm using this Catrice Prime and Fine Brightening Eyeshadow Base So deep a little amount will do Followed by this, the Ordinary Serum Foundation One palm Today I'm going to test out two palms To see if the coverage is buildable So let me zoom you in I like to use a damp sponge blender to blend with foundation Because it will give a more natural and more dewy look With the first layer, this is a very natural skin finish look It's there but not there So I'm gonna use another pump And blending starts Definitely with two layers, the coverage is more I'm not sure if you just can see With two layers, it's still very natural looking But personally, I will still prefer only one layer Now from the camera, can you see that this is two layers? Next, I'm going to use this Wet and Wild Photo Focus Concealer This concealer has a drier formula So I like to go with this foundation which creates a more matte look This concealer dry fast so better blend out first Next, I like to top it up with the Catrice Prime and Fine Powder Waterproof I like to use this kind of white or translucent powder with this foundation to create a more natural look I'm sorry dears, my voice is getting very bad now And recently, I like to apply powder with this kind of air pump So just tap a bit and tap off the excess Applying with puff or air puff, the powder will stick to the skin better and the mattifying effect will be longer Usually, I will just apply powder to my oily T-zone to control the oil Not so much on my dry U-zone Because powder can really make my dry area very dabber Let me continue with the face makeup I like to use also this Innisfree Tint for my blusher It's very hot now, so tint can actually stay longer I'll usually tap the tint with my finger first, then followed by the sponge blender. This way, it will look even more natural. It has a very cooling feel. And followed by this cream highlighter from Essence. I finish up the rest of my makeup and now going to finish up with this Essence Mattifying Spray to really mattify this look, especially on the oily teasel. Wait for it dry and fan 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 Speed up the drying process <laughs> So dears, this is my favourite combination for coming 3 weeks Now comes the conclusion part Personally, I don't like it when I apply 2 layers on my face Because I have lots of clogged pores and media seed With fuller coverage foundation, it will show my texture more obvious For dears who likes to have fuller coverage, you can definitely build it up I'm beginning to like this more and more because previously when I use it, it will form patches around here which I don't understand why And I also do not know what makes the changes now that I like it more and more Because now, the foundation sits better on my skin 
and make it more flawless instead of forming patches. The only difference I can find that is, I've changed a bit in my skincare routine which I've shared previously. I've added this moisturizer in the skincare routine because previously, I'm just using facial oil. But now I'm using moisturizer or the combination of a little facial oil and a little amount of moisturizer because it's very hot here. I don't want my face to feel very sticky. And also, I've added this. This is the Doville Brush Cleaner, which I will share with you more in details. It really helps to make my skin more clean and also helps to exfoliate the skin cells. That's probably why it's not forming any patchiness and also flakiness. It has semi-matte finish, but seriously speaking, mm, whether it's very hot, it cannot really control oil. Natural to medium coverage, very fluid, so you can blend very well. You just like to have a very healthy, natural skin look. Yes, go for this. So this is good for this with combination skin like me, or slightly oily skin, or slightly dry skin type. Because if your skin is too dry, then you better avoid this as it has this semi-matte finish. For those who love to have a natural skin look, they can opt for this. And for those who doesn't want to spend so much in a foundation, this is a good choice. And yeah, I really begin to like it more and more. I'm not a foundation person, but recently for this coming three weeks, whenever I want to apply foundation, I will reach out for this. Because <laughs> weather is really hot, I don't want the too glossy dewy look. So semi matte is a good choice. So yes, hope you find this review good for you and helpful to you. And last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. A happy outcome for all is the best. Do not humiliate others. Give them our blessings. Especially true when we have conflicts with each other. So do not use words of anger. Instead, mm, if we really cannot control ourselves, just remain quiet and walk away first. Because words can really hurt. I hope that with these little inner beauty tips, we can actually practice it out and make ourselves more beautiful from the inside out. Yes, if you like this video, please help me to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and click the bell notification button for my future videos so as to encourage me to continue. Thank you so much for your help and thank you so much for spending your time to watch this video. Thank you. May your dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye!